So you're trying to find out who's the best character in Heroes Battlegrounds, huh? Well, you came to the right place because today, after being fact-checked by true American patriots, I'm able to make the most in-depth tier list for Heroes Battlegrounds, going in detail with their moves, how they work, how good they are against players, and everything. So without further ado, let's now finally go in- Huh? So we have our list right here, and the way we're gonna do this is by ranking all the moves for each character to come up with an overall rating and put them on either top tier or dog shit tier. Now I could easily say that this is my opinion, but honestly, no, I'm not saying that. This is proof, okay? This is factual. Anyways, let's rank our first character. What did you have to eat? That smells amazing! Now, base Deku has four... Mm. Pretty mid moves, if I'm gonna be for real. Now, the first one is Detroit, which you channel the power of Detroit to unleash a devastating blow against your enemy and steal all their shit. Pretty basic move. It does have a down slam variant, but I don't see why you would use this, I'm gonna be honest. Next, we have Manchester Smash, which at first, it looks pretty good, a pretty good combo extender, but when you use it after doing 3M1s, you send them to Manchester. Next, we have Delaware, which is just a smaller version of Detroit, which it is pretty good. Except for the fact that it doesn't work with the down slam version of Detroit Smash. You can do it and do a down slam version, but then the enemy will be able to get up right before you're able to hit them. So they can dash away and give you back shots while you're trying to think about your life. Now next up is Texas, where you constantly keep punching them because, I don't know, whether a woman maybe. You can block break on the last hit, and it's really fast, so I'd say it's uh, pretty good. Now we're done with base Deku, but I'm not going to go into the ultimate just yet, since Vigilante also shares the same ultimate. So we're gonna review his moveset now, which this is gonna get real good. Dr. Giggle Touch. <laughs> First up we got is Quintuple Smash, which sounds like a school shooting if you listen close enough. It hits like one too and it complex sense. So maybe you are getting shot about an electric smash, which gives you hyper armor while you down slam on somebody's forehead. A good way to trick somebody, you can waste the roll cancel and then just down slam on Delaware grab, a move that has two versions, an aerial and a ground version. The ground version is you punching them two times, slamming them on the ground, flipping them back up and shooting them and the aerial version is you shooting yourself up all the way up in the sky but one thing i forgot to mention is how this is the perfect move for teamers because little did you know when you grab somebody you have iframes but not the enemy so anybody near you can just beat the shit out of the person you're grabbing while you're beating the shit out of them so you just have a jumping move will this ever be fixed we'll never know because we probably have to wait two more months to even get an answer next move is shadow web where you pull out your big willy wrap around the enemy and then just slam them on the ground or you beat the this is a really good move, especially when it grabs them out of a ragdoll cancel. I don't have a clip of it right now, but trust me, if you're laggy enough, that will happen to you. Now, the part we've been waiting for, the ultimate. Now, the ultimate has three moves. Beyond 100% is technically a cutscene move where it recreates that Deku scene where he's fighting that trend fog. This is honestly the best thing in his ultimate because it's instant, has a huge hitbox, does a ton of damage, and it leaves him on the ground for a really long time. Cosmic status smash is you doing something on a kick, I guess. Despite the move appearing huge, it actually has a small hitbox, and it's hard to hit if your enemy has like five brain cells, so good luck. Yeah. Oh yeah, and also one, one more thing. thing. It's blocked. Yep, yep. One energy surge is you standing still, charging up a punch, and beating the living shit out of someone. My favorite thing about this move is not when you land it, it's not when you're fighting somebody who's trying to hit you with it, and then you just grab them, since you have hyper armor, but you don't have eye frames. Like, the amount of times I edge somebody's one surge with Dobby, because I'll just grab them the moment that about to hit me. Which, we're gonna get to him very soon, and I'm gonna explain why he does have some hidden potential behind that shitty moveset. <laughs> Now we're on to the Hero Slayer, aka Stan, which this dude will eat your ass. A thousand slashes before you slash a thousand times. Holy shit, so damn good. It resets half your M1s. It can combo extend, basically. You can hit them out of nowhere and stun them. Basically, it is a really good move. And honestly, it's one of his best. Triple dagger throw where you channel your inner Britain and then throw some knives at somebody. I ain't the fucking a really solid mood, especially when you throw it at somebody and they get super surprised before dash into them. I got clutch where you grab them, put them on the floor, stab them up there, I don't know why, and then you just take them away. Really good move, especially when you can down slam and grab. It's really good. Curdle Pierce is the move that literally is probably the best thing in the game, honestly. If you time it right, you can hit everybody and it stuns them if you press it again. 
and it stuns him for a pretty long time. You better hope you hit because if you miss by a second, then yeah, you know what's gonna happen. Now onto the ultimate, which holy shit, it's so fucking good. Crimson parry is a parry that parries a move because it decided to hit you while you were in the parry. Really good when fighting against teammates because you can easily trick them to hitting you. Scarlet Frenzy, the damage dealer of this ultimate. It basically, you just swinging around, you know, doing stupid shit. Yeah. A lot of people underestimate the sword swings because, well, I can take it out with my one surge. Pink Wing Symphony, a move that combines both knives and the Curdle Pierce debuff together to make one singular move. And this move, I swear, everybody does not know how to take this on. Most people try blocking it, but the last knife actually does break a lot and it activates the move anyway. Comitable Well, the easiest way to get high kills in this game. An AoE that stuns everybody and increases your all time slightly, or maybe it increases it all the way. You never know. Now that we're done with the first three characters, it's now time for oh boy. Only in Ohio, Sigma, Skibbity, Toilet, Sigma. Azure grab where you grab them and shoot them away, but then it doesn't combo extend, even though you would think it would because you don't shoot them that far. But no, they're able to block it. Don't worry, they're able to block it. Infernal Burn, a move that you literally just fart on them. You only do 5%. The finisher is so boring, it is not. Nah, this is not it. Can't even combo extend off it. Just honestly, best to use this just for fuck you. Like, just mess with it. Ember Eruption is probably the only good move in his arsenal. I mean, it has hyper armor, it does pretty good damage, and it has a good AOP. Ember Assault is a really good combo extender because you dash towards him and do two M1s, which it's really good to set up some combos. So this man doesn't have combos to begin with. Much rather call them opportunities because you can punch them into trees and stuff. The ultimate, which is the only redeeming quality of this character. M1s have extended range, which people, a lot of people underestimate how far this actually goes because if you look at it, it goes really far, so you can catch people really easily, thank god. Not to mention that if you're getting hit by them, you cannot see anything. Your screen's covered in blue and you're just getting flashbang while you're getting beat. Azur Flame Blitz, a grab move where you just grab them and slowly beat their ass. It is actually pretty good because you get down slam then grab. Frost Flame Eruption, a move where you cover a certain area in ice and explode. It actually is really good especially you can catch people off guard because if someone's using their ultimate move you can just use that and freeze them flame wear burst a move where you do a huge badland charge burst on somebody it used to be interruptible i guess they changed it so now you can't interrupt it so hot peaking scorch a cutscene move where you dash over to somebody and just do another badland chug burst on them up close this move might seem like the best but no because guess what again you can lock it almost like this game is so well made now that we finished with that well done steak we're on to his younger brother split ice you know because he splits an ice and then the ice i've got to ratio this nigga variants a move that has four different variants but even though two of them are pretty garbage and the other is there are first one's a more shorter version of the first grab the second version when you ragged off someone normally which sometimes is a hit but you would just need to side that that's really it third version is the uppercut where you just grab them and slam them back down it's pretty good actually you can do it way before if you kind of right then there's a down slam version which is no point in doing this okay the last hit barely even hits like don't ever make this move ever again little bro it's javelin something that you could throw or you could use the combo extender the combo extender version it will reduce your damage after so if the three m ones will probably do like at max five percent the throwing one it will slow them down a bit like probably for one second next we have frost counter which this counter this is the best counter i've ever seen in my entire life i'm gonna be honest you literally can counter every single move in the game. Anything that does damage to you, you can counter it. I have no idea why. You can even counter the parry for total. What? Crossburst, a really good move to punish people who are trying to take you down and forward dash you to oblivion. Now for the ultimate. Freeze Burn Wave is a cutscene move where you just absolutely rip ass in front of the enemy. I don't know how you do it, but you do it. A good way to catch someone off guard since you can hit them while they're forward dashing so, you know, they can walk into it literally. Jet Kindling, a move where you charge up a huge fireball and blast it. Like all good moves, you can always grab somebody out of it. Cause you know, Frost Flame Burst, a move that has a really long startup, but it has a like, huge AOE hitbox, like really huge. This shit sucks things in, basically. No, it doesn't, okay, I was lying about that. You can interrupt it very easily. Like somebody can just come in, smack you and leave, and you're just left there dry. Blazing Soul, a parry plus a grab move. Damn, that sounds cancerous. It just plays a 30 minute long cutscene, which yeah, it's cool to see at first, but damn, it gets so annoying after getting hit by it for the 50th time. So we got Portal 2, which is actually a kind of fire game, I'm not gonna lie. I also play that right now. I would honestly.
Warp gate, the biggest miss opportunity in the game. Reality barrage, a move where you grab somebody, constantly slam them in three different areas. This does some really good damage. It can combo extend with portal combo, which we're gonna get to soon. Matter absorption, we're able to pick up tiles, trees, etc., and throw it at somebody. Don't even think about picking up the tree because it does shit damage. You'll only pick up the tile, and that's gonna mix in with our next move. Portal combo, where you grab them and throw them in an actual portal trap, and then they shoot back up. For some reason, they have iframes when they're coming back out, so you can't combo extend. Off that. I have no idea why. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea. Warp punch, where you open up a portal and punch them, but for some reason you can barely block and send off. The if you're not fast enough, they'll get enough vibrance to be able to block. Really shit move set all together. I'm gonna be for real. I mean, if you're not doing this, then you're not gonna be doing any damage at all. Onto his ultimate, which I gotta say, this is not gonna be good at all. Matter barrage is move where you basically just grab a bunch of stuff and shoot it at people. This may not seem good at all, but trust me, it isn't good at all because you can get grabbed out of it. You can miss. It doesn't really hit that much, it doesn't do that much damage, etc. Cloudy Collapse, where you lift them up in the sky like Smegma and then smack them down. Now, I gotta say, this move is the worst thing in existence. The fact that you can block this is insane. It's under you. How do you even block it? I have no idea. I thought the last one was bad. Let's get on to Crush, a grab move. Where you grab them up, throw them down, and the finisher is actually pretty good because you shoot an asteroid at them and you can do it at like 40%. Pretty good. The problem is, is that you're able to block the grab move. I even need to explain why this is trash. The star burst, which is a cutscene move where you transport them to the moon. It's just that it doesn't finish them at all. There's no finisher, so you just transport them to the moon. And it doesn't work like a domain expansion. No, you're you're able to get hit. Fortunate when you teleport someone to the moon just for them to pop their ult, and you have to sit there and wait for that long ass timer just to go back to Earth. But not least, we have Gay Boom Boom Man, or I think he's, I don't know, I keep seeing a bunch of fanfics. NOT GOOD ENOUGH, ASSHOLE! We've been waiting for nine months, Bakugo is finally here, and he has a unique thing with his M1s where when you uppercut, you actually go up a bit, so maybe this is used to a combo center. Sure. Ground Cannon, where you just blast the ground. It actually is used for a combo center, you could do it after down slamming and you can't have one though. It just says pretty inconsistent with the hitbox, so sometimes you miss, sometimes you'll hit, and you're ready to know. It does have a variant that blasts him into kind of forward dashing range, it depends on their ping, but if they have really low ping, you're not going to hit them with forward dash, I'm saying. Powered shot is when you blast the enemy away, but pressing the button again will dash towards them and put them in the grab loop. The powered shot grab lasts a really long time, so it's best to just hit the enemy first, and then kind of do your combo, and then middle your combo, you press 2. Explosive combo is a grab move where you beat the shit out of them. It actually is really good because you can side dash while doing it, so you kind of just, you know, throw them in a grab move. That's how to where you grab them and go spinny spinny around. It actually is a really good combo ender because if you mix it in with power shot grab or explosive combo, then you're able to catch them and kind of finish them off like that. Now that we've finished with reviewing all the characters, it's now time to put them on the list. Number seven, which character that talked the most shit? Was it you? 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 No, it was you. There's no reason why you should use him. He gets outclassed in every single way so honestly he deserves number seven number six we have mage deck which you may be saying that he has a really good ultimate he should be higher but no because vigilante has the exact same ultimate so there's no reason why you should even use base deck number five we have blue flames which i talk a lot of shit about this character but honestly it is much better than warp gate and it has a way better ultimate than deku honestly the ultimate m1 range compensates for his base moves there and his actual moves in the ultimate is really good because it can just completely destroy somebody if they get caught in it once. Number four, we got Todoroki, which it's kind of weird how they're both right next to each other. Hmm. Solid until you try to actually combo with them. And then with his ultimate, his ultimate actually falls back into this very, very, very strong opponent called the Q button. And number three, we have Bakugo, which I'm looking forward to this character because his base moveset's already better than most. And his combo potential is really good. And the fact that his finisher is actually really unique. And I really want to see what the moves look like for the ultimate. With only two candidates it's left we have to find out which one is the best character in the game and it is vigilante having the best moves in existence they all combo extend he does a million damage so damn good honestly the best character what i would have said if i signed it like this put my man staying on top one Although Vigilante has really good damage and really good combos, Stan has really good moves and he's able to hit multiple people, plus having a really good ultimate that only noobs will really say is bad. So that's a tier list right there. Yay, I did it. Bye-bye.